How do we create the world we want to live in? How do we create the world we want to live in? Do you know what that is? You're making a grief flower. A what flower? Grief. Grief flowers? Yeah. Sounds like it's right up my alley. <laughs> That's what we're doing, survivors dreaming. Survivors. Right? I am a survivor. Right? right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What are you dreaming? Dreaming of orange flowers.
So this is Jun Hong, Jun, Jung, Jung, mm -hmm. Jun Hong Jung, right. and he's letting us call him Juno. Mm -hmm. Yeah, briefly, I'm from South Korea. Oh, wow. I'm here for studying jazz at San Francisco Conservatory of Music. Yeah. So awesome. Thank you so much for coming yeah, here tonight. Let's give it up. Woo -hoo! Lisa, I see me, right? You got it. All right. Her beautiful handmade costume. So um, I turn it over to Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, thank you. My name's Lisa. I'm a self-taught artist, and I've been creating paintings and drawings since childhood. My work ranges from portrait series, art journal, mixed media, and costume design, as they are all significant aspects of my practice. Um, the portrait series, which are these right here, um, is an ongoing series of paintings about artists, musicians, and performers who have inspired me over the years, and it's an ongoing series. I like to also take suggestions and get inspired by artists maybe I haven't discovered yet. Um, collage and, and card design are other aspects of what I do. Um, and the art life has been the way I've been living my purpose in more recent times. Um, though I continue to dabble in art here and there, for the most part, I had lost touch with it in my truest self for many years because I was focused on trying to fit in with normal societal expectations. And I was, as I was often told, art is fun, but it doesn't really pay the bills. So I went along with that message, and I put more focus into my education. And I was trying to become a, prepare to be a vocational <coughs> rehab counselor with the county of San Mateo. Um, yet things never seemed to really work out in that realm or with relationships, housing, right? Things were always not working out. Um, so after applying a couple of times to the job, that I, my dream job that I wanted, um, I felt defeated and like a failure because I didn't get it. Um, so my next step was, after allowing myself to feel bad and defeated for a time, with the advice of my great friend Matt, I was finally able to see it as a sign to change things up, meaning to be my truest self again. He said, you know, in your heart you're an artist, and I think you should focus more on that. You need to see yourself as an artist. This vocational counselor stuff's a waste of your time. Stop, stop, <laughs> stop it. Exactly. Don't feel bad. It's, it's a sign to, to change it up and, and do what you need to be doing. So he helped me to get into some creative independent films and do some wardrobe and costuming to kind of get me back on my feet. And it was a nice distraction from not getting the job, and it started me on a new journey. And I agreed it was time to focus on my dreams to stop following the flow of societal expectations that I really wasn't all that passionate about. Um, and here's a related favorite quote of mine from William Ernest Henley. Um, it's, it goes, it matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishments the scroll. I am the master of my fate and I'm the captain of my soul. So that helps keep me grounded when you, you know, you're not feeling like things are working out. Um, so this time I did start believing in myself and that I had the power to live an intentional life. Um, as an intentional life is one where you choose your actions and reactions. And instead of living my life on autopilot like I had been, I finally decided to take charge of my future as well as my present happiness. For the first time I finally felt like I was getting to choose how to live my life and not worry about what other people thought of me or what I should be doing. So I started this journey off by finding an artist meetup group um, where I was able to meet a couple of artists a couple times a month um, in a space that was donated to us um, where we set specific time to create, getting back into the flow. Um, and because I was so dedicated and got heavily into this group, I eventually started running it and I was the organizer and it was known as Art Jam and it was in Belmont. Um, then, because I was into that, I, I found it, I was looking for other opportunities and I found another art related group to join um, that started me on the path of the artist's way, a book by Julia Cameron, where I set aside even more time each week to meet with other creatives, where I held myself accountable to set up weekly artist dates with myself. This further helped to break me out of my art show and get me more in the habit of creating and putting myself out there. Um, in this group, I was able to connect with an art therapist, um, as with the master's in psychology background that I had for the job I thought I wanted, that didn't work out. But this degree ended up coming in handy because I met an art therapist and she needed art therapist to help her um, up at the juvenile hall or uh, Camp Kemp. And there I got to work with kids who were at risk populations 
young girls um, and to help re rehabilitate them so they'd make safer choices and work through their issues. So that was a nice surprise I didn't expect. Um, then COVID hit and everything shut down for a while. The good news is I got to create more. And when things started opening up again, I discovered the North Beach art scene and I started to branch out, get involved, including in group shows. I discovered a bunch of places and things keep opening up and now I'm here tonight. So I really appreciate that. And um, I know the Day of the Dead isn't always as flashy as my costume, but I did lose three relatives this year. So this is my <laughs> way to honor them. My grandmother, my uncle, and my aunt. So thank you everyone. So these are all artworks I've created in the last year. Um, the first one was Frida. And then I got into creating this portrait series um, where I just like to pick, you know, Josephine Baker's old school, right? Stevie Nicks, a 70s Stevie Nicks, Lana Del Rey's more current in the 2000s. So I just, and, and I'm focusing more on women here, but I do, I have done a lot of others, um, but it's just an ongoing series where I take a quote from either a song or something they said. Um, sometimes, um, yeah, it, it's just a quote that stands out to me, and I like to include it in the art, as well as with kind of a background that gives their essence, um, that my, you know, kind of what they represent to me, like, you know, butterflies, stuff like that. So um, that's something that I'm going to continue to do. This is Veronica Barlow, and so is that. It's the same lady. And she just released a book yesterday that she's um, been a big inspiration to me. She has a similar story about her life where she was, you know, living a life just to get a paycheck. And one day something, she got her face, got messed up by a dog and it woke her up and she started living her authentic life. So she really is somebody that I look up to. And Frida's just always in my heart and someone I always look up to for, for guidance and inspiration when I'm doing my art. Years and years. You know, so, you know, it's, it's like that. It's like, because we know. Nobody else knew about it. Like, all the people in his new group, they knew nothing about it. So, I brought the Muertos, Señor Muerto and Señor Muerto, <laughs> to visit tonight. Señora and Señor Muerto, um, and to make this uh, little shrine. And how do we create the world we want to live in? How do we? One petal at a time. Okay. Do you want to make an offering, dedication, dedicate the light that you're, you've just lit? We have to use a little imagination because it's a switch for fire safety. <laughs> but we ha this represents the candles, this is a festival of light. Today is the first day of Diwali. And I don't know much about that, except that it's a festival of lights and it lasts for a few days, several days. And also we're um, within the Celtic New Year and the Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead. So, so, we're, so how, would you like to make a dedication uh, for this altar with the light that you shared, verbal, to share with us so that we can be with you too. Here's to living tomorrow of our truer selves. Living tomorrow? To, to more of our truer selves, to be our truer selves. Living. Whatever your dreams are, start to take steps for them to come true. Mm -hmm.